So as we've been exploring, all these equally divided tunings come with their own distinct flavors, and some will resonate with you more than others. In my limited experience, playing around with the 22 EDO tuning really has an odd and alluring feeling to it that really scratches an itch for me. We've spoken to a lot of amazing artists who are already making 22 EDO their focus. There's just something about it, and we will explore their work in the months ahead. But for now, let's take a quick and basic look at some of the aspects that make this tuning tick. So as we move through Lumitone's presets, we have now arrived at the 22 EDO tuning. For those of you new here, that simply means that one full octave now has 22 equally divided notes inside of it. This tuning has some characteristics that differ from the other two we've covered thus far, and to my ear, it stands out a bit from the other ones that I've been experimenting with. Now we have discussed the 19 EDO and the 31 EDO tunings in previous episodes, and these tunings use familiar accidentals such as sharps and flats, and in the case of 31, double sharps and double flats. But with 22 EDO, we're gonna talk about two accidentals that you may not be familiar with, the comma up and the comma down. Now, depending who you talk to or what you're reading, you may see some of these new accidentals next to a note represented as a forward slash and a backslash, or you may see them represented as a V for comma down and one of those cute little hat symbols for comma up. But basically a comma up raises the pitch by less than a chromatic semitone and a comma down lowers it by less than a chromatic semitone. Enough talk though, let me show you what I mean here. Going four steps up from D. So we've got D, E flat, up E flat, down E, and E. This starts to make sense as you go through the intervals. You'll start to see a pattern emerge. So let's go through all 22 notes using up-down notation. So going up from D here, we've got the minor second, the up minor second, the down major second, the major second, minor third, up minor third, down major third, the major third, perfect fourth, up fourth, down augmented fourth, augmented fourth, the perfect fifth, the minor six, the up minor six, the down major six, the major six, minor seventh, up minor seventh, down major seventh, the major seventh, and finally the octave. So how do we use all these notes? Well, like any other equally divided tuning, it helps to talk about the different flavors of thirds and where they sit. But to do so with this tuning, it's important to talk about one of the key characteristics of 22 EDO that plays a big part in its sound. And that is that it's not a mean tone tuning. Unlike the last two EDOs we went over, the 19 and 31 EDO, which are both mean tone tunings, this one is not. So what is a mean tone tuning? Well, we will expand on that in another video. But to sum it up simply here, a mean tone tuning narrows the fifths in order to push the thirds to sound more pure. But since 22 EDO is not a mean tone tuning, the fifths aren't tempered back to accommodate the third. And because of that, something a little funny happens to our thirds. If we go through our first four steps of the circle of fifths from C to get to our major third, by the time we get to that major third, we'll find that it's actually pretty sharp 
from what we'd expect from a major triad. So if you were to play a C major triad consisting of C, E, and G, this is what you're gonna get. It's not really feeling like a major third. Instead, the major third here will give us more of a super major third. So if this E is now giving us the super major, we can look at these three steps below it as our other flavors of thirds. One step below that E will give us our more traditional sounding major third triad. Step below that will give us our minor third triad. And a step below that will give us our sub minor triad. And obviously you could play those on one of the repeating notes here for more convenience and comfort. Knowing where those different flavors of thirds sit offer handy building blocks for moving around any tuning. But if all this up-down notation and mean tone versus non-mean tone tuning is confusing to you, that is 1000% okay. A huge part of what makes the Lumitone such a game changer is that you really don't need to know any of this stuff. As I've said numerous times before, I am not a microtonalist. I'm just some guy. Some guy who loves music and all of its possibilities. And for the first time, I have an instrument that will allow me to access all these microtonal tunings in a way where I can just follow my ear and my gut. We all interface and learn music in different ways. You know, if I were to learn this stuff just straight from a book, I'd probably have a stroke. And of course, while having a proper understanding of all the theory and knowing how to work out what your enharmonic equivalents are is a massive leg up. You can also just play. Lumitone is designed to let your intuition take over. Hit a bum note when you're trying to build a chord, pull that shit back a comma, see how it feels. Follow the colored patterns and do what works for you. So there we are. This is my first basic look at 22EO, but I'd love to revisit this tuning and explore more of the unique harmonies this thing provides. There are some folks doing some really cool things with this tuning. I highly suggest you check out Brennan Burns on YouTube. He plays 22EO guitar and does an amazing job showcasing just how beautiful this tuning can be. And there's other artists to explore as well, and we will be showcasing some of their work soon. But for now, we will continue our exploration through Lumitone's presets in the coming weeks here. And I wanna thank all of you for subscribing and following all these videos over the last several months. It means a lot and your feedback's been really cool. So keep it coming, we'll see you soon.